Hi, my name is Nathan Stock and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit um, about your role as a parent or guardian in your student's IE, your child's IEP. Um, so what is an IEP? An IEP is an individualized education program. Um, basically, in short, the IEP is, is a, uh, it's a program in a process that um, puts together a team of individuals from um, the school that your child's attending. So that'll be your administrator, so your principal. Um, sometimes it can be um, your assistant principal, depending on how big the school is. Um, and then it's gonna be your a special education teacher of your child, uh, your, your child's homeroom teacher, if they have one. And um, normally like a school psychologist or caseworker, um, and even sometimes a guidance counselor or a paraprofessional can be a part of that team. So um, basically together with you and your child, um, that team's gonna meet. Um, they'll have quarterly and then um, an, annual, an annual meeting. Um, and the, the purpose of these meetings is to come together first and um, identify what they feel as a team, including you, um, what you guys feel with us as, is a great, um, plan moving forward with your child and their disability. How can we assist them in their goals um, and get them moving forward and progressing through their education? So how do we identify um, and do the, the review process? Well, a lot of the um, review process and evaluation process for um, a student um, is done with observation. Um, so we're, we're watching that your your child in the classroom. We're watching your child, you know, as they interact with other students and those kinds of things. Um, and once their their disability is kind of honed in and, and more better understood, then we can um, come together and we can get them um, on the right track towards um, that IEP, which is the the most important thing is getting them on the right track and getting them with some goals and some things um, to help them better with their education. So idea um, is it's an act that was signed in um, and has been revised a few times uh, under the Department of Education. And um, idea is very important because it helps and it allows for individuals um, with disabilities to receive an education that's quality um, and is no different um, as far as the, the type of education that they're receiving um, than, the, than a student without disabilities. Um, so it's, it's the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Um, and really um, on the Department of Education's website, this is um, what they say. It's, it's the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Um, is It's a law that makes available a free appropriate public education to eligible children with disabilities throughout the nation and ensures special education and related services to those children. Um, the law is there to protect your child. Um, it's there to make sure that we're providing everything that they're uh, that they need, and it's there to make sure that you understand um, when those things are not being provided, and, and it, it shows you, you know, that you have a right to act on that. Um, <clears throat> So I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, the components of an IEP real quick. Um, so two major components of an IEP uh, is establishing a measurable annual goal or goals um, for your child. It's important that we identify some obtainable um, and measurable goals so that your child can um, be the most successful in their education. Um, and then uh, another component um, is to state the special education and related services and supplementary aids and services that the public agency will provide. So that will provide, um, we're going to provide that to you. We're going to make sure that you understand um, in that IEP process um, what we're providing for that student. Um, and so the environment is extremely important um, as well as the overall um, plan of the IEP. 
Um, so I hope this kind of helps um, you understand a little bit more of your role. Um, please feel free that when you're in those IEP meetings to, to let the facilitator know and let the team know um, if there's something that you're not understanding or if there's something that, um, that you have a question on. It's very important that we get your input because together um, at home and at school, when we work together, we're going to make it that best experience for your child and that's our goal. And, and so I, I cannot emphasize that enough as a parent. Um, let us know. Let us know what your questions are, what things that you think aren't probably going to work or, or things that you think might work, things that you are doing at home to help with a certain behavior or to help with, with a certain subject um, that, your, that your child might be struggling with. So um, we're all one big team and we all have one goal and that's to make sure that your child is successful um, and that their disability is not something that hinders them from being um, a successful person. So I really hope this helps. Like I said, I, uh, I have the pamphlet available too, so you can kind of go over some of that stuff and there's some additional resources in there. Um, again, my name is Nathan Stock and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.